Warning, the following programme contains scenes of an adult nature that may not be suitable for a younger audience. Viewer discretion is advised. Lad culture is taking over universities across the UK. Tonight, you have the chance to air your thoughts. This is Laddish. Hello, you're tuned in to Laddish. I'm Mel Christidis and this is a once-off show that will tackle the question, does lad culture empower women? Now we've got various guests joining us in the studio from across the country on Skype, but that's just not them that we want to talk to. The show is about our audience too, so you guys, you need to talk to us. Throughout the show, you'll see this graph pop up on the screen. This clever little thing lets you see the way everyone else is watching and what everyone else is thinking. So just give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down to share your view. You can also talk to us here in the studio. Just below the stream is a comment box where you can tell us exactly how you feel about what's being said and even leave a few questions for our regulars. Anyway, let's get kicked off tonight then. So here's a quick little video that explains a little bit about lad history and where lad culture started. For many people, the term lad is a relatively new phrase, mostly associated with young men in Great Britain who spend their time playing FIFA, drinking or having sex. Lad culture is on the rise in the UK with various television programmes completely based on how these young guys act when they're out. I reckon you should work out. I put money on it. Jen as frigid as and Leroy's wasting his time. BBC Three, Sun, Sex and Suspicious Parents shows various teenage guys heading out to party islands along with their mates with the sole goal to either get drunk or to take a girl back to their hotel and reaffirms the idea that this is a common attitude for men between the ages of 18 and 25. Most of the parents who watch their sons behave in this way are normally shocked by what they see. That's disgusting. <laughs> But laddism was most likely around in their youth as it stemmed from the launch of Playboy in 1950. You spend all your money on chips, you can eat a la carte in the living room, as they call this part of the club. With the launch of the magazine came a new display of masculinity from young men, which incorporated both misogyny and homophobia, something which is a common trait with most lads today. What the going on here? You've got the best looking guy in the room, obviously me, and all the strippers are dripping all over the gay guy. He's like a kid in a sweet shop, isn't he? This trend continued to spiral into the 1990s with the popularity of the Jack the Lad image, which is portrayed in the media by the likes of Noel Gallagher and Frank Skinner. I think, I think it's going well. I just want you to know that I think I love you, you know, and I care a lot about you and I like being with you, and I just wanted to say that. So, um... Anal sex? What, what, what are you <laughs> All this was brought together by the release of Lads Mags, the original being loaded. These magazines were tailored for the adolescent guy's craving for women, cars and booze. In early 2013, the National Union of Students published a report called That's What She Said, which looked into the effect that lad culture is having on the campus. It found that lad culture was thought to be particularly influential on the social side of university life. No wonder that BBC Three has just premiered a new spin-off called Snow Sex and Suspicious Parents, where instead of party islands, we see groups of lads taking to the slopes. Not only does the programme show the laddish behaviour when the group are out and about at night, but also the disregard for their own safety, something that is quite common in lad culture. So there you have it. That is lad culture. Now let's get back to the studio and start the debate. So what did you think of that then? There are many more ways that you can chat to us here at Laddish. You can tweet us using the hashtag Laddish TV. Some of your tweets may pop up on screen, so keep your eyes peeled and if there's anything that really takes our fancy, we'll even read it out on air. So let's get down to the debate. Joining us tonight are Jamie Dickinson, ex-welfare officer from Ravensbourne Students Union. George Burkett, a self-proclaimed lad from Bedfordshire. Heather Mills from Ravensbourne, a student who thinks that lad culture is for e egotistical prats. Well said, Deb. <laughs> Sarah Walsh, a television production student who loves laddish behaviour. We're also joined by Tom Ellis, a blogger who started a banter Facebook group at his university. Adam Solodrun, 
who, who takes a different stance on things as a result of his Jewish upbringing. And finally, Glenn Davidson, a recent university graduate who regularly blogs about London's gay scene. What a fantastic mix of people on our panel. Ladies and gents, please take your seats and let's get started. Guys, thank you so much for joining me in the studio tonight. So what do you think a lad is? How could you describe a lad in your words? Uh, someone who sits around playing FIFA for a lot of the day in their boxes and goes out and gets drunk and tries to fool girls. Okay. Sarah, what do you think about that? Um, yeah, that's true. Um, <laughs> someone that goes to the gym, wants the best abs, sleeps with everyone. Um, yeah. Just behaviour like that, really. Okay. Um, George, being our resident lad, how would you describe what exactly a lad is? Yeah, I think it's all of the above, really. Um, just going out with the boys, having a laugh, a few bevies, playing a bit of FIFA, just generally having banter with the boys, just having a laugh. Okay, do you have any stories about your boys that you can share with us that are kind of G-rated so we can um, see them on air? Stories. I've got a few stories. Um, one of my boys, he did a bit of a, a bit of an unladdish thing, but it's still a bit banterous. Where we, we went to a club together, just me and him. This isn't going to be good. No, nah, <laughs> we, we went to a club, just me and him, and uh, we were both really drunk, couldn't find each other. I kept on running up to people, oh, have you seen my mate, blah, blah, blah. I found him about three hours later. So said, where were you? I couldn't find you. He said, oh, I left. Oh, why'd you leave? He said, oh, I was shagging some bird up a skip. <laughs> he completely ditched me. So I was running around this club for three hours on my own. But that's just banter, so it's all so, good. Sarah, would you go for a George on a <laughs> night out then, would you say? With this um, no, probably not. <laughs> Lynn, has it? So why not? Why not? Yeah. Um, oh, I just really like dark hair, brown eyes, you know. Got a certain <laughs> criteria. So. That doesn't kind of appeal to you, just you know, having a quick shag? No, no. Club, you know, I, th no. I find it funny, but I wouldn't, like I wouldn't want that girl to be me. <laughs> Um, but I find, I find, you know, all that lad banner quite, quite funny. Yeah. I'd laugh at it, but I wouldn't want to be involved in it. Glenn, what do you think as our token gay of the panel? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I think a lad is kind of like, you know, a straight cashier, you know, like dirty, <laughs> skanky, like, I don't, yeah, like, you're just, you're just dirt, you know, but in a good way, you know, you're just getting drunk, having fun, you know, everything just goes the way it does. How in a good way? You know, it's fun, you know, you're just letting go, you know. Okay, um, Jamie, our con lad, I want to hear what you have to think about this because I know that you're pretty against the whole perception of lads. Uh, if I had to describe a lad, I'd use the word someone who disregards uh, human decency and basic <laughs> morals in exchange for a cheap, brutal, uh, <laughs> masochist, not mas uh, kind of like a male laugh at things. Right. So it's like, you know, we, we, we were brought up with these strong morals, presumably, from our parents, if not, you know, blame the parents, but presumably they're brought up with the strong morals. Um, and then they get into a club, they decide to have a drink, throw the morals out the window, and start seeing women as pieces of meat. George, what do you think of that? I don't think that's true, to be quite honest. I mean, my mum and dad, they brought me up right, took me up like, if it's like if if there's a girl on a night out that like takes your fancy or whatever, and she's up for it, she's up for it. If she's not, she's not kind of thing. Like you don't start cheating them like pizza, mate. If you like, like if what gets you attracted to that woman in the first place? She's probably pretty sexy, to be honest. Like <laughs> have sexy a little pieces of meat. What do yeah. you say? Rest my case. Yeah, that's <laughs> it's my cup of tea. Anyway, um, okay. So we have a range <laughs> of people lined up on Skype tonight. First off, we're talking to Tom, who is a psychology student at Oxford Brooks University. So Tom's just joined us live in the studio. How are you, Tom? Hello, good, thank you. That's good, thanks for joining us. So what do you think makes laddish guys behave in this way? I think when guys get together, they tend to sort of get a sense of competition going between them. So they will often act more aggressively because they're comparing themselves to each other and also drinking and alcohol makes them be so addictive as it is. And what do you think causes guys to behave in this way? Um, well, I think a lot of society puts pressure on guys to act like lads. I think the word lad is used as a compliment around other guys. Like if a, if a guy gets with a girl in town, then he's called a lad. You know, there's going to be an endearment from his friends, you know, to one up. So it's something that's put on guys to act in this way. So it's kind of socially as well as, you know, it's fun to go out and drink themselves. But Else them do it. Yeah, and would you consider yourself a lad? Not really. Um, I think I have a 
had more of a feminine upbringing, it was more my mother and my sisters who brought me up, so I've had quite a lot of respect for women as I grew up. I do like going out and, you know, all of that part of thing, but at the same time, I don't consider myself a lot. Okay, so how's that family upbringing that you discussed earlier, how's that affected you in terms of being a lad? Um, I think also my mum's a Christian, so she's kind of... Um, brought me up to believe, although I'm not believing now, it's to believe in sort of, you know, sex before marriage, so it's all kind of quite conservative as well, so very much a lot of respect for me and don't treat them like objects. Yeah, and do you believe in sex before marriage? I know, sorry to ask uh, you that. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think it can be okay, both parties are consenting, I don't see any issue with it. Yeah, okay, excellent. Well, look, thank you so much for your views on that and thank you for joining us today. No problem. Thanks for having me. Cheers. Okay, interesting stuff there. So keep tweeting us. We're really getting in some interesting things coming through. But let's get back to the debate for now. Okay, who should I pick on next? <laughs> um, okay, so girls, um, how would you usually react to guys out in a club that come up and, you know, put on their little macho laddish thing? Do you think that would appeal to you? Um, you've got to humour them for a little bit, I think, that then you've got to like, turn them down so they look like an idiot in front of their mates. Do you think it works? Do you think it gets girls at the end of the day? Um, or? I think it does work, because if you're confident, like, girls love confidence, if yeah. you're confident, you're more likely to get a girl, like, take a girl home or buy them a drink or anything else that you want to do. So it works on you? Yeah, well, Some yeah, I suppose. Some can be a bit forward, though, and you're just a bit like, oh, can you get off me, please? You sink a beer and, oh, no. Yeah, no, not my cup of tea, personally. Um, Tom, what do you think? Um, I think it's all right to go out, have a few laughs and <coughs> try it with a girl or two. As long as you're not, like, <coughs> being aggressive towards them, um, both sides are kind of happy of having a bit laugh. I don't see anything wrong with it. I mean, I've got a girlfriend myself, and when she goes out, she's as bad as me. But there's a few times when I've got a, a bit loutish, but there's nothing a quick run to Tesco's for some flowers can't fix in the morning. <laughs> You've got to love it. Have you actually done that before? Just gone out and did the quick apologetic run to Tesco's? No, because I've got a, a eight <coughs> week flower rule. So if she mentions flowers, she don't get them for eight weeks after. So <laughs> she's mentioned flowers a lot, so she doesn't get them. Clever, clever. Okay, yeah. let's have a look at a few tweets now. All right, so we've got Mark Walsh from Greenwich who has tweeted in, I love laddish behaviour. It's just a laugh, really. <laughs> Adam, what do you think about that? Um, laddish behaviour is, yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, like we all say, I mean, a lad is not just a creepy thing. You just go down the, you go down the pub, go down the club, have a couple of drinks and have a bit of a fun. And then yep. what happens, it happens. I mean, yeah, I guess she's right, but she's wrong as well. Well, um, we also got another tweet come in saying from Andy Squawk, um, I recently went out with the lads, drank my weight in vodka, threw up in a nun, hashtag lad, lad, lad. Oh, brilliant. Yes. Yeah, threw up what, on a nun. What, brilliant. <laughs> hashtag not the one lad, 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 lad. George, what do you think of that? I think that's funny. I think that, that's definitely a story, which is that's all part of it. It's just part of the banter. I mean... Fair play, drinking your own body weight in vodka. I mean, I think that's, it's a fair effort, actually. Yeah, I don't personally. even think I could drink like, the weight of my leg, my foot in vodka, like, let alone your body weight. Seems so. very dangerous, though. It's probably, it, it definitely is dangerous, but I mean, we all do silly things, don't we? So, I mean, he's had a good night out that's of it. That's a silly thing so. that could kill you, though. Yeah, but <laughs> you gotta live, ain't you? Like, it don't matter, he's been, it's fine, he's just drinking up. He's right, having so a good one with his boys. Let's that's listen to this one. So, we've got another tweet in from Mark Willington from Portsmouth. Um, being dead to eat OXO cubes for a tenner when I got in last night is harmless. Dot, 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 and tasty. <laughs> what? I didn't even understand so that. that. But that was just banter. Oh, you know what? It's that's probably my banter. crappy yeah, Australian banter. accent. That's just, a, <laughs> that's that's just, just banter. That's, that's all it is. Someone has <laughs> got in from a night out and his boys have just said, oh, if you eat this, I'll give you £10. And he's for I get ten pound out of this. Of yeah. course I do, and he's enjoyed the taste. So he's he's got a win win there. He's so got a tenner, and he's discovered right, a new food. Share source. with me some of your stories. Who's got some laddish uh, stories to share to the panel? What what have you guys done? You know, drank your body weight in vodka? No, and I mean like me. I generally husband. the whole Jewish the whole Jewish thing you mentioned. Um, I mean we used to do the we used to do beer kum, which is basically beer and bacon together. And we used to just mix it together in a pan, cook it up a little bit then put it in the fridge overnight and then it had that nice little like congealed, oh, congealed fat on top. Oh, then we used, to, we used to pay each other 
or not even pay, we should just dare each other to try and um, eat it during the night. That was just breakfast. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that is, that's a, it's a good oh, night out. Sounds very time. appetising. Mm. You're all really, you know, powering the lads with your comments there. <laughs> all right, cool, thank you. Um, all right, so I think it's a little time for a breather. Whilst we get around in, let's have a look at this short film we shot in Leicester Square to see what our students on a night out think about, lads. <laughs> He once masturbated on his toilet seat. <laughs> and no, this is, this is not true. No, I will tell them. And yeah. his mum sat on it. Yeah. See, I reckon you're about an eight or a nine. Maybe even nine and a half in four beers time. That blue top, shot top you've got on is nice. Bit too much fake tan, no, but yeah, you score high. Lad. 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 How did you, you find lad? Quite energetic. Yeah. Yeah, somebody up for a laugh, up for a drink. Up for absolutely anything. Anything, really. yeah, up for anything. A lad is someone that goes oh, out, yeah. has a good time, shags, <laughs> it, shags everyone. That is it, that's how I see it. <laughs> lad? A lad? A lad, as in like a lad. An absolute c. We, a a, a like... we think a lad is someone who respects a woman and treats her with respect. You wouldn't, you wouldn't buy her a McDonald's and go You wouldn't buy her a McDonald's. McDonald's. You take her out to Goucher. You, you wouldn't take her on holiday or to, to the Ridge. You take her on holiday somewhere else. A lad is probably a boy that is uh, probably in some way disrespecting women, but other boys enjoy the humour. Yeah. I would say. Oh, you know, drinking, and all that. Yeah. Yeah. Drinking. They yeah. like the lad Bible sex. page on yeah. Facebook. <laughs> yeah. Not really. He's less than a lad. He's less than a lad. Not really. He can't but... pull for shit. I swear to God. No, no, not at all. I don't like beer, no, so I'll thunder. I like, I like beer. <laughs> oh, I'm not, I'm not cool enough. I oh, consider he, Owen a lad. Yeah, he's a lad. Owen's he's over there. He's over there. He's a lad. Our lads over there. It's not lad. Why is that? He should say he anything. anything. He'll do it. No, but all them guys are like that. They're absolute twat. So. They think they can do anything with anyone? No, definitely a normal guy. Definitely a normal Girls guy. Girls love nice guys. With nice personalities. Play it cool for a little bit. you will be a lad for a little bit. Honestly. They love nice guys in the end. Just play it cool and they love you in the end. That's why they were going for you. Because love comes from the heart. Love's not about your self-interest. Love is not about yourself. <laughs> um, no, because he tends to be not bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what makes him like that? Because they think they can get away with doing whatever they want without thinking about the consequences. No, we love it, we know that. There you go. <laughs> nice There's this bloke in a regiment who uh, two weeks before he got married shagged four post uh, transsexuals. <laughs> oh my. my phone's ringing. <laughs> Look sharp, they're smiling hard, suggesting and gleaming away with your hearty, hearty looking tan. But I admit the next bit was span as my plan. You walk towards my path, but you just brush right past and into the arms of that fucking white shirted man. Oh, can I say, what an appealing bunch of men there, really. Um, okay, what on earth was that guy at the start talking about? Anyway, let's have another discussion now this time. We're asking, why is drinking such an integral part of the lad scene? Do we have any alcoholics here that would like to first answer? There we go. Okay, we've got one. <laughs> well, I'm Irish, so, you know. Okay, <laughs> interchangeable, I see. Yeah. Okay, what do you think? About drinking? Yes. Yeah, drink until you drop. That is the way I live. <laughs> That's my motto. And, and girls, what do you think? I mean, if you saw a guy like this, you know, absolutely maggoted um, on a night out, I mean... Like, is, would you think, okay, easy target, or might as well just get as shit faced? Or no, it's quite funny to just watch a lad making a twat out of himself. But if they come up to you and they're like breathing their like beer breath on you, it's just a bit like oh, it's disgusting. <laughs> George, how much would you usually drink on a night out? Um, I, well, it depends really. Um, if I'm out with the boys, it definitely ends up <laughs> in a bit of a mad one. I've never ended up in hospital. Okay, that's um, promising. But I've forgotten a whole night before, um, and ended up. Like with blood all over my face when I woke up the next morning. That was a bit. That was a bit enjoyable. <laughs> that's, that's Lovely. Yeah. Lovely. I got it got some stories out of it though, so I mean, it's all right. It's part of the banter. Jane, There's no what, scars on the face. What, what stories? You couldn't remember the night. But the boys tell me the stories. <laughs> <laughs> like, what else did I do? 
God. <laughs> Jamie, what about you? What do you think about that? What do I think of it? Um, yeah. As opposed to have I got any laddish stories? Uh, yeah, <laughs> I don't. Do I, you? I mean, if you do, well, please. Uh, pff, no. <laughs> like, so, what would you normally drink on a night out? I mean, what? Uh, if, 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 if I'm going out, um, <coughs> it depends what mood I'm in, I guess, and it depends what the function is. Uh, you know, if I'm going out to dinner, chance I will order a bottle of red. Uh, if I'm going out a to bottle. a whole bottle, yeah, nutter, Lad. nutter, <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> we, Jesus. we we are one and the same. But they are similar, actually. I uh, could, you seem like a more of a kind of sit in a swanky bar and drinking a martini with an olive kind of guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No. I'd prefer a gin and tonic to a, a, yeah. a beer. George, what would you usually drink on a night out? <laughs> beer, um, I like to start off on a beers. I went through a phase of martini. I know it's not a kind of big drink, but I'm partial to a martini. Yeah. Solely for the James Bond aspect, I think <laughs> that's why I started drinking it. <laughs> uh, he's a bit of a geezer, so... Um, <laughs> just beer, really, and then a few shots. Like, just get the shots in, just see what happens, really, just go with it. Yeah, yeah. Bombs. Adam, uh, what's your opinion of all of this? <laughs> um, I got my stomach pump once. Did you? Yeah, Bad. once. It was, it was a horrific... I mean, I, I don't remember the whole night. I don't remember being in the hospital, but I remember my friends telling me about it. <laughs> uh, it, was a good, it was a good night, but it wasn't... I don't draw... Like, ladders always drink beer. It's not really a type, a type stereotype. I mean, I normally... I, I do like a good glass of wine. Yeah. Um, Is that why, actually? But, yeah, yeah no, nah, I like a good glass of wine, drink. but at the same time... My problem is, is that I just generally just I couldn't do a glass. Like you just can't do it in oh, a so club. By glass, he means bottle. Okay. Yeah, gotcha. so we have a good bottle, <laughs> and then um, yeah, another story went. Me and my friends, we all dared each other. We had a bit of a laugh, and then um, yeah, as the alcohol went on and went on, I lost everyone in the club. And the next thing I know, I'm in the uh, back of an ambulance, and apparently I've been laying in the middle of the dance floor for ages, and people were using me as a pole dancer. Not too <laughs> dissimilar to some of George's stories there. Yeah. So maybe you guys can share stories after the show. <laughs> Okay, right, time for another Skype conversation. We've got Poppy with us now, who has just started out in uni life and is also an Oxford Brook student. So, Poppy, thank you so much for joining us today. That's right. Um, so, tell me, how do you find lads at Freshers? <laughs> um, doing Freshers week. Yes. Um, well, I was my first year. Would you were you ever intimidated by this type of behaviour? Right now. Yeah. Okay. And um, do you think that they respect women? Okay. Yeah, George, um, <laughs> do you think that you've ever intimidated women on your type of behaviour? I don't think Amanda? so. Yeah. If I have, I, um, I feel a bit bad about it. If I ever have, I'd apologise to them. But I don't, I don't think I ever have. Well, we've actually got four of them in the studio right now. <laughs> well, <laughs> Here's we someone prepared earlier. Everyone oh, you've slept with. <laughs> she's, got, she's got a good point, though. She's got a good point. Because, yeah. I mean, every, every ladder or any, all my mates and stuff, we all act hard in front of women, all love it, but at the same time, we go back to our mums or go back to our yeah. girlfriends. We, we're crying like babies. Yeah, we, like, we, like, yeah, yeah we love yeah. it. That's, that's, that's what that is, though, isn't it? Oh, just a yeah. soft yeah. man at heart. <laughs> it's basic um, pack mentality, that yeah. isn't it, though? Like, when you're in your pack, you feel like you're... Oh, you've got to be alpha dog if you're not. Yeah. You're just the guy drunk on the dance floor. Big big so, Poppy, um, what do the other girls that you need think of these laddish guys that we've been talking about? And that's not you, is it? You're not attracted to that. No. <laughs> you and me both. <laughs> cool. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks for your time, Poppy. Right, thank you. Cheers. Okay. Now, it's time I think we found out who in our panel is most like a lad. But also, for everyone watching at home, scroll down to the page and you yourself can take this quiz, the results of which will be revealed at the end of the show. 
So I think George and Jamie are two very opposite guys, and I think I'm going to quiz them now and see who is the better lad. All right, George, are you a lad? Yes. Okay, our in-house self-complained George um, has created this quiz, so I'm going to ask you a couple of questions. Number one, MOTD is on 10 and the missus wants sex. Do you? A, forget the football. B, give her a nine-minute quickie and then watch. C, I don't even watch MOTD. Or D, watch the repeat on Sunday. Well, the repeat's on a bit too early. Um, you can't miss match of the day and obviously if the missus is giving out, you've got to take it. So uh, nine minutes and then match of the day. Oh, so classy, George. Oh, tell me so about classy. it. <laughs> All right, number two, you lose 5-0 on FIFA. So what do you do? A, FIFA. B, apologise like a man on Facebook. C, cry like a baby in the corner. Or D, I'm more of a PES guy. No, I mean, the rule is apologise on Facebook, so i got to apologise on Facebook 5-0. It's the rule. Oh, lovely. Okay, number three. When is it acceptable to eat salad? A, when <laughs> taking a bird out. B, on a kebab after a big night out. C, when dieting. Or D, never. Say, um, on a kebab, like get that freshness back into the mouth, you know, a bit of cucumber, more, a bit so of lettuce, you know. More of just a garnish, if anything. Yeah, that's, it's not that's an actual one, yeah. meal. Because, you know, you yeah. eat the steaks and drink your Obviously, beers. Obviously, yeah, you know what I mean. Pump those biceps. Yeah. So, who eats salad? Okay, makes sense. Bit of burger sense. sauce as well. Beautiful. Perfect. Oh, classy. Very oh, no, classy. Tell me about it. Tell me about it. <laughs> All right, now, last question. You're in a club and your mate is pulled. Her friend is ugly. So, what do you do? Take one for the team. Leave your mate to it. He's already in there. Bros before hoes or take her to the bar? Well, if your boy needs wingman in, you've got a wingman in. You have to take one for the team. No matter what, this, what, what happens, you've got, to, you've, got to boy, you've got to be there for him. It's great to see you've got standards too, painting a great picture here. It's all right. <laughs> it's the boy, you've got to look out for your boys. That's all it. All right, excellent. So you've, you said, um, all right, let's see, bros before hoes. Putting in our results to see what we come up with. And surprise, surprise. True lad. You're a true lad. Shock there. Shock, Shock. horror. <laughs> Shock horror. All right. Jamie. This is the true test. We think we know what we're going to get from you, but, you know, let's, let's see what, what the results indicate. I've just had a warning here. Potentially offensive content ahead, so <laughs> be careful if you wish to continue. So, anyway, all right. <coughs> Number one, um, MOTD is on 10 and the missus wants sex. Do you, A, forget the football, B, give her a nine-minute quickie and then watch, C, I don't even watch MOTD, or D, watch the repeat on Sunday? Uh, well, I don't actually have a TV license at the moment, um, <laughs> and it's not like I don't like football. I do actually in enjoy the game, um, <coughs> but I don't watch MOTV. I can't. So. What way. about sex? Sex in general, you know? Don't do that much either, no? to be honest. Okay. If we're going to get into my personal life. Right. Okay. Sorry. Bit <laughs> forward. Um, um, all right. So we need an option five then for you, by the looks of things. But. I think we're going to get a lot of option fives on this quiz. I'm going to be so. honest. Let's create a George. I mean, a Jamie <laughs> option. Um, anyway, yeah. Out of the four, what would you? I mean, if I had a missus, probably just just go for the sex. <coughs> she wants it. Forget you know, I have, I'm not doing anything. I've already established that I can't watch Match of the Day. <laughs> so I'm just sitting there doing nothing. And she goes, you look a bit bored. <laughs> <laughs> no football. Makes sense. OK. All right, number two, you lose 5-0 on FIFA. What do you do? FIFA, apologise like a man on Facebook, cry like a baby in a corner, or you're more of a PES kind of guy? Uh, I, you know, just get on with it. Like, I don't see why I broadcast <laughs> on Facebook. You know, I played a video game, and this was the scoreline. I don't know why I'd do that. Um, I wouldn't. I, I wouldn't cry either because it's just a game. I'll just get on with it. Just, just keep get playing. on with it. Okay, Rematch. I'll choose an answer for you. I'm just going to do a random choice and not look at what I'm choosing. See what happens. All right. Anyway, <laughs> when is it acceptable to eat salad? A. When taking a bird out. B. On a kebab after a big night out. C. When dieting. Or D. Never. It's always acceptable to have a salad. You know, you, you don't make friends with salad. Sorry, <laughs> Simpsons quote. <laughs> okay, so always acceptable to eat salad. Excellent. And um, now, last question. You're in a club and your mate is pulled. A friend's ugly. What do you do? Take one for the team. Leave your mate to it. Bros before hoes, or take it to the bar. I suppose I'd leave him to it. <laughs> it's not. It's not my. Business. You're a crap wingman. Yeah. <laughs> the boy needs you. He's needs such you. a nice guy, though. <laughs> All right, cool. Let's see what our results indicate. Oh, Jamie, you're a shit lad. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> well, Sorry about I might that. Well, I'll kill myself. Now. <laughs>
Okay, now, our audience has also written in and um, they've told us what they think. So, is a lad culture empowering to women? The results indicate that 31 people agree and 40 people disagree. There you go. Wow. Shocking. <laughs> close. close. What do you think of that? It was close. A lot closer than I so 31 people said. <laughs> so 31 people agree and 40 how, people how. disagree that it's empowering to women. I, 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 I still fail to see a single argument as to how it's empowering to women. It's just banter. Don't worry about it. It's just a thing. That's John, not... what's your opinion on this? Um, well, some girls, they like, to, like, they like to go out. I mean, some girls are very laddish. I mean, my ex-girlfriend, she, I think she could drink me under the table quite personally. I mean, last time I saw her out, she was mind-sweeping and like a good one. I mean, she had, like... <laughs> She's only like she's five, five foot three and she was picking up everything, Guinnesses, shots, everything, just getting all that she could. I mean, so back. She needs lovely. Shoot at it. Okay. <laughs> all right, guys. Well, um, look, I'm really sorry, but that's all out of time for tonight. So thank you so much to all of our guests, to our Skype con contributors, and to all of you for watching at home. Thank you so much for joining. So thank you and bye for now. <laughs>